everyone and welcome back to Bob's Dynasty here on Norland on the PC. Um, yeah, episode one has done really well on YouTube. Thank you very much everyone who's checked it out and who uh, engaged with the video. Uh, I kind of, yeah, kind of wasn't expecting it to do as well as it did. So yeah, thank you very much everyone who's paid attention. So first time uh, we played, or the first episode rather, just to recap, we managed to recover Bobette. Um, Bob, who was feeling very manly after completing said task, decided to go and take Bobette for a little bit of adult time. And she is now pregnant. Yeah, so um, we're going to have another another child. We've already got uh, Bob the second. It doesn't, does it say how long it is until he grows up? It doesn't, does it? Is it in here somewhere? Hopes for the future. Well, I think he's got quite a little while to go yet, just based purely on the... The fact that he's got literally no skills or anything. States, here we go. A character under the age of 18. Uh, when a child comes of age, they become a lesser lord and you can determine their fate. A child should be educated from a young age and their skills should be developed depending on your plans for their future. A child learns quickly by observing adults and improving some of their skills every day at random. From the age of 12, children are capable of reading and, to, and transcribing books. Okay, so how old is he? Is it? Does it tell me how old he is? Just says small child. As it tells me, look, it says he's 29 and Bobette is 24. Just says small child. Okay, all right. Whatever. We'll um, not worry about that for the time being. Okay, uh, so let us move along. We do have this guy here. I think we've already done the trading with him. I think we did that last time out. And there is some reading going on at the moment. So <laughs> Meritra, uh, Bob and Bobette are all in there. And they're all having a chat. We're socialising while they do it, but that's fine. So we are trying to make our way through uh, all of those books. Can we uh, no, use... Was that say used medical slave? What does that mean? Uh, instructions not received. So the lumber mill and the brewery at the moment have no instructions. The brewery, actually, talking of which... Is that the brewery there? We need to... Uh, I couldn't remember how to do this. We did do it in the... Maybe it's in it's in production, isn't it? Right, here we go. So we can only make moonshine at the moment. Should we just uh, tell him to make a whole bunch? How much rubatar have we got? 143, we've got loads. So let's get some uh, moonshine on the go. Have you got a manager? You do, you've got Meritra. So once they finish reading their book, I don't know how long it takes them to read these books. That's the only slight concern. Speed time along. We are we are at evening time at the moment. Bob will Bob, this guy. Yeah, so he's going to take all the prisoners off. That's fine. Uh, do we actually have prisoners? Oh, we do. Yeah, we got prisoners from the um, from the fight that we had, don't we? We should probably have traded. Can we trade these prisoners? No, we no. We need to create a relationship with somebody, don't we? Who is? Maybe we go to Moon Lake because they're at least the same. Uh, it's the same sort of religious belief, same culture as us. Do we... Maybe I send... Improving relationships. The Lord you have chosen will visit the king to improve relations with him on your behalf of your ruler. During the process, there will be a conversation, the outcome of which will affect the attitude of Volamil toward your king. The likelihood of good conversation depends on the manners skill of your envoy. Okay, we could do an offering, we could do spend time, we could do flesh wolf hunting... Um, we don't want necessarily want to start demanding things of them from a politics point of view. Uh, we've got dog dude. We can assassinate the law. We can kidnap, rob their library as well. The protection of the loving family will be removed. Uh, no, we just want to improve relationship. The attitude towards each other will improve. The character will have a strong, positive and long-lasting thought. After the hunt, there will definitely be a deep conversation, though not necessarily a good one. And there is a risk of injury. I think just for the moment we send like an envoy. I think we 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 send an envoy along. Man is level four. Man is level. Bobette is the one to do, and she's pregnant. I'm not sure I want to send my pregnant wife off to do this, but she is by a mile the best person to do this. We're gonna do it. So Bobette will head off. I'm assuming not straight away. 
Uh, okay, that's light. She's off straight away. Goodbye, Bobette. Do we have the ability to give her, like... No, we don't. I was going to say, do we give her the ability to have some kind of, uh, like, guard? Send, send, her with a, send her with a bodyguard or something like that. But everyone else... I still don't understand why Bob the Second, my small child, <laughs> doesn't sleep in the bed. Maybe they only sleep in beds when they're adults, but, yeah, for some reason... He seems to be allergic to his bed and just likes sleeping on the floor. Right, did we have the prisoner house, prison ward? No, I think that was something we were researching. Oh, here we go. Look, studying peasants house, 9%, temple and the keep prison, 9%. So it actually goes up pretty damn slow. I don't know how much of the day they spent with those books, but that's a pretty small amount of progress from those books. We'll have to keep an eye on that for the coming day. But ideally, I kind of want Bob to go and give the instructions to the the lumberjack and the brewer to get things going. Although we have got an awful lot of wood, so it's not the end of the world. Result, Moonleg. Here we go. Your envoy has completed the task. As a result, the attitude of Volumil towards your king is plus 19. Good job, Bobette. So we now have a good relationship. There we go. Look at that. Communication with the envoy has given us a plus 19. Same culture is already plus 5. In the interest of Bob. Apparently, he smells great. I think we said this last time. Relationships plus 12, manners plus 8. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. Still don't quite understand. So, opinion of Bob and interest to Bob. Bob's opinion of me, interest Bob to me. Okay, so there's... It doesn't actually say... Can I click on that and bring it across? I don't think I can, can I? No. What was that lustful, monogamous commander? Character is currently out of town. Right, so Bobette will uh, will be heading home. Meanwhile, everybody else, right, Bob, I need you. Can you? <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong button. I thought you you clicked yes. Love and mail horse inspections will begin. To end in one day, one hour. Inspected today. Inspected yesterday. Not inspected. So I need him to go and do the lumber mill. How do you... I thought you did it from here. Okay, whatever. Uh, and the brewery. Who was that? Oh, it's Meritra. A good mood has sparked inspiration. All skills have been increased by five. Wow. Oh, it's only, a, it's only a brief stay. I was going to say, that's one hell of a buff. For the harmony of the world of Norland and is a grace with Mother Sophia to all that is new and renewing, the loving family prohibits aggression towards young noble houses. This means that neighbouring provinces will not engage in blackmail, warfare and intrigue against you while the protection is in place. Usually the loving family removes the protection when the settlement reaches 50, including warriors, lords, peasants and prisoners. However, the protection will be lifted if you take aggressive, aggressive actions towards your neighbour. Fine. So we've got a little bit of a... Uh, of a shield over our heads, which is good. Right, you're going for an inspection, so are you. So it looks like they will just do it throughout the day. So they'll take a break from the other duties just to go and, and do that, which is good, because we need them to do that for sure. So where are you going? You're going to... Where are you going exactly? Are you going to the lumber mill? Uh, Mer Meritra is going to go to the brewery. Yeah, you're going to the lumber mill. That's lovely. So you'll go over there and they will get cracking. The instructions are being provided. There we go. So you are now going to go and get your resources. You're going to go and get your Rubataga. Instructions are being received over there, I presume. Where, where is Bob? We can't. We obviously can't rotate round. Where, where's Bob? Is he there? I, obviously, I can't see. Oh no, there he is. Was he, uh, was he welcoming back Bobette, perhaps? Bob's, Bob the second has gained persuasion and manners. Request for assistance. What is this? Can I look at the... Have they sent me a message? Uh, I mean, they really don't like me. Opinion of Bog is richer than me. We're richer than them, apparently. 
Um, it said request for assistance, but I don't... Oh, here we go. Peace treaty. Uh, Tutmosil offers you to conclude a peace treaty for 10 days. This means that during this period, the parties cannot raid villages, attack cities, or compel each other into vassalage. All dark deeds and unfriendly intrigues are precluded. Uh, Tutmosil will pay for the church's mediation services. Relationship will increase by 20. The treaty is sealed by the church and is sacred, and therefore okay, it cannot be violated. Uh, the list of the king's allies. So you're an ally with Silverhaven, which is there. So how do we sort of accept that? Uh-huh. So these are the events. So if I click on that. All right, so we can enter into a treaty. Uh, yeah, I'll send Meritra to go and do that. Will she... Will she head off? I'd imagine she's probably making her way towards the edge of the uh, the map within Sparksville at the moment before making her way across. Yeah, there you go. So off she uh, off she goes. Uh, Bob and Bebe back to the reading. Okay, it's going up reasonably quickly, but it's still gonna be. It still looks like it's gonna be several days each time they want to research something. Um, we are going to need to think about Bob the Second as well, aren't we? We're going to need to think about te becoming, uh, teaching him stuff. So I think maybe we get Bob out to do some some training with him, some more, some educating, we should say. Lovely, lovely. Uh, right, so at some point as well, we are going to want to, now that we've got a uh, a bit of a an okay relationship with these guys, we should probably look to think about offering some kind of trade deal. So they buy beer and they sell herbs. Voldemort does not regard you highly enough. You must be at least plus 25. So they sell the herbs and they buy beer. We don't sell beer at the moment, but we are about to. I think one of the things we're learning, I think, was... Oh, no, we're not. That's annoying. I thought we were learning that, but we're not. Hopfield. Did we did we have the book for Hopfield? Yes, we do. We do have the book for it. So that's the next thing to learn. Once we get that, then we can look to start trading. Bob and, Be Bob and Bobette are going on a date today. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? See, the, ro the romance doesn't die just because she's pregnant. Doesn't mean it has to, has to slip away. And one new migrant I saw has entered... The town. So we've got five unemployed people. We need to find something for them to do. Do we just uh, increase... Where's our barracks? It's there, isn't it? Do we just increase the number of people we have in our army? How do, how do we do that? Among the prisoners, there are experienced warriors. After being hired, they receive a strong negative thought of fear of death, which lowers their bravery threshold. Former bandits, this is the knife icon, receive a bad thought from the need to obey commands, but they have a higher combat skill. A freed prisoner cannot be made prisoner again. Upon hiring this warrior, based on the combat skill, the church's tax on your army will increase by six gold. The total tax is now 36 per day. I mean, some of these guys are decent, right? I mean, they, they go up by 10, don't they? They're, they're, they are good. Um, and we can hire mercenaries down the bottom. Level 15 mercenary. Fucking hell. So these are all the prisoners that we've got. We can't. Why can't we hire from our peasants? Hmm. Okay. Right. What do we need to do? Oh, are they, are they at it again? Dirty bastards! They went on a date. Are spending time in bed. They're not just spending time in bed. Can I? hear something yes yes they are making noises uh, result of the peace treaty sir concluding a peace treaty has become a rarity in our times but we have proven to be wiser than the rest i am confident that the peace and prosperity await our kingdoms signed by my own hand king tutsumil 
tipped my sill. There we go. Right, so there are 10 days left until the end of the treaty. Magic. So we are now at peace with Windpeak. Uh, Hepperson from Dust Valley is becoming stronger and plans to annex Windpeak. So that's why he wants a peace treaty, because he's under threat from Dust Valley, which is here. The aggressor's army, Lord Swordsman in heavy armor with a shield. Got, yeah, they've got quite a good army. Therefore, King of Windpeak took Minnesota is seeking help from all neighbors who are willing to stand by their side. You can send your army to help defend. Consequences will be that it, our relationship will go up very, very nicely with Wind uh, Windpeak, but not so much with Dust Valley with Hepperson. Uh, the Matriarch will not approve of your assistance. Most likely, Tutmosil will help uh, Hepsetra from Silverhaven. So they're not under... They don't seem to be under any threat at all, to be brutally honest. Bob the Second insincerely admired Bob Head. <laughs> Right. Everything. Bobette told a new joke to Bob the Second. Right, we have our trader here. Uh, who is our best? I think it's you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Bob, go and have a chat. Right, what you got for me? What books have you got? Persuasion, Mace Stan, The Art of Flirting, The Art of Eliciting, an additional 20 points of interest from the opposite sex. It's written in Tanayan though, so you can't really, uh, we can't read it unless we can get it transcribed. The negative thought brought on by consuming moonshine in the province will be half as strong. Could get that. I, mean, I do have to be a little bit carefully because we are losing 21 gold per day. So I don't want to start just spending money willy nilly here and not having any comeback. We need to get some kind of trade in place to start getting some money. Manners Volume 1, Flavorful Ale, Pig Farm. That's the construction of a pig farm through the construction menu. Hmm. I mean, it would allow us a source of food, I presume. Allows the construction of training ground. That could be good. I'm assuming that's going to help train our, our army. I'm going to get that in the pig farm. Do we trade back some wood here just to bring the price down? We'll give them... We'll give him 40 wood. We're going to give him 9. Or 10, 10 of that. It's only going to cost me 179. There we go. Uh, prisoners I'm not interested in. Uh, we've got medical uh, salves. I don't think we need to worry too much about everything else for the moment. We have got a steady supply of food. I mean, it's... <laughs> Flour is apparently a type of food. They're just eating raw flour, which is a weird thing. We need to get... We need to get the mill, really. Do we have Do we have knowledge of how to make a mill? Yeah, the rye field and mill here and the hot field and beer. Those are the two things we need next. It does seem to take just a little while of... Uh, of, of time to get these books studied. And we'll bet traded witticisms with Bob the Second. So there's lots of there's lots of nice talk going on over there. Who is La Oh, who's Lana? You're a free lord waiting to be hired. Loyalty fifty. Let's have a little look at you, shall we? What's your uh, management ten? Oh, you could be good. You could be good to bring in and manage some more of our buildings. Eight experience points required to reach the next level. Envious. I'm sure we saw you out and about some. Were you not at one of the You were over here, weren't you? You were here a minute ago, so you've traveled down you've traveled down our way. Um not very intelligent though, so we won't be getting you to doing any studying anytime soon. Uh what about here relationship wise? So you're quite friendly with Bob. You had a great laugh together and had some small talk. Lana is not ready to go on a date with Bob. Yeah, well, that's fine because he's married and he's expecting a child. I don't want any upset situations, upsetting situations here and now. Meritra, what's the problem? I don't like the culture of Meritra. So you've got a bad relationship with with her. Uh, no thoughts on you. No thoughts on Bobette. Opinion of Bobette. Interest to Bobette. Bobette is really injured trying to think of which way around this is so opinion of bobette which is what she thinks of bobette interest to bobette is bobette's interest levels in lana 
and seems to be very high because she seems to love the fact uh, that she's charming, she's youthful, and she's very pretty is seemingly what that is. I think, I mean, she, it's only a temporary thing, right? We can hire her for a short time. A free lord. And Bobette can do the hiring. What is with the, what's with this green shit in here? Is that her throwing up? Right, so we've now got f five. That's the Lord's house, that's Maritra's. That is Bobette's, that is Bob's. And that is, I'm assuming that will become Lana's property. Does that mean we're gonna need another Lord's house? We'll, uh, we'll put Put a house there. Get that built. Free Lord Lana has been hired for 10 days. So you can have that house there. So I don't actually know where this is. Effectively, this house here is becoming for Bob the Second. Bob and Bobette are comforting each other. It's very nice of them. Yeah, we, we are hemorrhaging gold. We've gone down 108 today. Paid wages in 85. Resources produced... There's 161 gold. Goods sold in local markets, 156. So is that right? So 85 plus 161, so that's like 246. Minus 156. I'm trying to work out where that, how that's working out. Okay. You just have to, uh, we'll have to trust that it's okay, that it's working out. Used for paying peasants for their labour and for their trade. Only the loving family has the right to mint coins. Thus sending goods to the Holy Caravan is the primary way of obtaining them. Yeah, so at the moment we've just got to basically use this guy as our means of getting of getting money. So, which is okay. A prisoner is attempting to escape! Oh, we don't have a scaffold. There's literally nothing we can do. Bob had a good laugh with Bobette. These two get on so well, don't they? So what's your what's your thought of, of Bob? Rescue me from captivity. Spouse, successful commander. Same culture, small talk. Had a great laugh. Look at that. Bobby's ready to go on date. You can assign warriors to patrols by placing need daytime and nighttime patrol banners. Oh, maybe that would have stopped the uh, the prisoner escaping. Each patrol ban has an area with which guards patrol. Night patrols protect warehouses from homes and homes from crimes by vagabonds as well as guarding prisoners in the prison wards. Daytime patrols prevent prisoner escapes from production sites and protect workers from flesh wolf attacks. Guards become tired from this activity, so the more patrols, the lower their mood. Rotation of guards among high warriors occurs automatically. Okay. Uh, one thing I did actually see, I don't know whether it's going to be in here or not. Um, they've just released... The archery towers. Now I'm not sure. Looking at this, I mean, it's not here at the moment. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be in the game. Maybe we can learn it later. Um, but I believe there's a chance that we won't see that unless we restart the game. I guess we just we just do this. We do that as our nighttime patrol. And then day patrol. I, I, mean, I said we're doing the same thing, are we not? Maybe one the patrol up there. Like that. Is that how it works? I'm assuming they would, and then they'll just go and rotate between them all. 
So from an army perspective, though. Hmm. What are you doing? You're jobless. I mean, all of my guys are probably asleep in the barracks, right? Oh, here they go. So is this, are they now coming out on patrol? Are they, are they, oh, they're going to go get all their swords and gear and stuff and go and start getting on patrol. There we go. Right, okay. Well, we needed to set that up. That is for sure. I wonder whether it's actually worth bringing a few extra of these guys in. Because what, what we do with these prisoners, we don't, we don't need them for prison labor right now. We're not using... We have no production buildings that desperately need more people. So I'm thinking we do that for now. Bring a cup bring a couple of them in. We need to we're gonna have to buy some weapons and stuff. The tax depends on the total combat skill of your warriors. Tax is calculated daily, accumulating until the arrival of the Holy Caravan. The amount of tax for each warrior is determined by their combat skill at the time of recruitment and does not increase as their skill grows. That's good to know. The matriarch may raise the tax. If your state grows significantly, you can see the current army tax in the tooltip. Yeah, okay. Uh, if your finances are so, it's best to hire re relatively weak warriors and then train them. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Right, let's speed things along. Let's get to the next day. Hoping that we can get this uh, built pretty quickly today. I'm assuming what we could do actually is appoint Lana for the time being as the manager to that. She's kind of in between things to do, isn't she? Could just make Lana the uh, take Bob off of all of these things and just give it all to Lana because she is really, really good. I don't think any of the other buildings now need a manager. There we go. Right, Lana. There you go. You are in. You're in charge of all that. We're giving you much responsibility. Use it wisely, and that means the other guys can actually make sure that they are well rested, well fed, so they can go and get these books researched and done quickly. Divining with bones. What the fuck does that mean? What's divining with bones mean? Absolutely no clue what that means. Right, Bob, good lad. Straight on the books. So you're doing the peasant's house at the moment. Trading with the caravan has its limitations. Uh, so you can always trade with neighbours on the map by signing contracts that last 10 days in the neighbouring province menu. Yes, I am aware of that. If you want to start trading, it is required that your kings are either in friendly relations or both belong to the same free cities alliance. To set up the most beneficial contract, you should select the lord who has the highest trade skill, but be aware that you'll be dealing with a lord of the same calibre on the other side. There are only a few provinces on the map that sell the scarce iron. If the supply of provinces remain stable and includes basic resources, then demand changes from time to time, for example, when the province grows. The trade volume increases with the population of the province and decreases if the villages are plundered. Foreign trade does not saturate the market with goods, so you can sell as much as you like. All trades are displayed in the foreign trade menu at the bottom of the screen. Magic, magic. That's fine. Don't have any issues with any of that lot. Uh, is there a reason why this is not being built? Ah, there we go. You are you are transferring the resources now, so that is going to get along. Uh, right, Bob the second. You are still being educated. I think now. We click on Bob the second. Thank you. Uh, educate. Uh, what do we actually... Let's just take a second, actually. What do we want him to be good at? So his, his dad is kind of a combat commander. That's kind of where his strengths lie. He's a decent all-rounder, I think. Uh, Bobette is very, very good with manners and persuasion and that sort of stuff. I'm just wondering whether we try and bring him up from the management perspective. Because neither of these two guys are particularly good at that. So I think maybe we focus on the management side of things for now. And then with our newborn, assuming all goes well, we can perhaps uh, uh, train them up in a different area. Anyway, right. Bob, what's the matter with you? You've only got a few rings. My holy rings are running out. Do I not deserve respect? 
Where are all your holy rings going? What do they do with them? What do they do with their holy rings? Because, yeah, look, we've only got two. I made you, we've been giving them out, haven't we? We've got, So you've probably got, you've got five. You've got three. You've got three. So I think it's just a case that we've been uh, we've been handing them out. Right, our new Lord's house is complete. Bobette is now becoming a better teacher while she's teaching Bob the second, which is lovely. Our army is out on patrol, making sure everything is okay. Bob the second is getting to new level trade and management. We love to see it. An alliance proposal. Stardale and Vaughn want to. Oh, look! Is that is that what they? Oh, that's what they buy. I think, isn't it? Global map um, relations between neighboring provinces are presented as personal relationships between kings. They are displayed next to the king's name. Yeah, that's fine. Good relationship plus five. Yeah, that all makes sense. Right. So, where are you going? Who's the king here? I kept seeing this guy's name. Hepsenra. I kept seeing his name before, but he doesn't look like he's the king. He's the king. He's very... Uh, he's a gambling addict. He's reckless. Fucking hell. Okay. What about his other half? She's an envious queen. Is my... Is she down as a queen? I don't know if she's actually technically down as a, as a queen. Do we have to do we have to do challenge to a duel? So you're the king. But you're just a lord. Is that because they're not married or something like that and she doesn't become I'm quite, I'm unsure here. Maybe that, is that, does, that, does the loyalty have to be a certain level? No, but we need to, we need to, uh, we need to start making some more money so we can buy some more holy rings. Uh, as far as the alliance goes, I'm not against this. They are a similar culture to us, of course. Oh, they're actually inviting us to join the Alliance of Free Cities. Okay. This means the noble houses promise to help each other if either city's side... Uh, sorry, if either side cities is attacked by another noble house. The treaty does not apply to the defensive villages of bandit attacks. All members pledge to send their warriors to the rescue if someone in their alliance requests aid. The province's membership in the alliance will be revoked if their relationship with the leader drops below 25. Warfare, dark deeds, intrigue between allies are also precluded. Alliance members can enter into trade contracts without restrictions and the market demand increases. Members of the city alliance cannot have vassals and aggressive actions towards kingdoms not part of the alliance are restricted. Our relationship will go up. I mean, I'm down to, I'm down to, to join it for now. Let's sort of see how things go. Um, we are going to send... Yeah, we'll send Miritra to go and do that. What is that? You just noticed that. What is this here? Someone in the camp is selling five rings, which they clearly stole from Teleron. The price is very attractive, which is half the price compared to the Holy Caravan. However, if you buy them, your actions will not go unnoticed by their former owner. Who is Teleron? Uh, you are from Tanaya. You from Enchantment? Where's Enchantment? En is this enchantment around here? Oh, it's right, literally there. Oh, it's not even in our province anyway. Let's no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that. We don't want to start making uh, too many enemies. Right, Meritra will head off. Bob and Boa are still learning. Peasant's house is nearly done. Thank the Lord for that. So Bob, Bob has completed. We love to see it. Uh, we've got Tanayan shields. Yeah, right. So, just I just want to keep this because I'm a little bit confused with how all of this works here. So at the moment, I don't know whether all these things. 
It says unavailable knowledge. The no this knowledge is currently available. The Holy Cavern will bring books. Okay, that's fine. So I think that what you end up seeing is, yeah, okay. So anything that you can learn is listed at the top with a big plus button. Anything that you currently don't have is written like this. So actually, holy shit, there is a lot of books. <laughs> I think that's the, the long and short of it. But we have got quite a lot of stuff here. Now, the peasant's house. So the Lord creates a book based on knowledge. The higher the Lord's intelligence level, the faster the book is written. Since the character is already familiar with this knowledge, the book is written noticeably faster. So I'm just trying to work out what is the need for this because he obviously has the knowledge. Why would he need to write another book? Is it so that we can sell it? Like, can we sell the book book on? After studying the book, the character will be able to create a copy of it using paper. Require, yeah, it requires three paper to do it. I wonder if it's just because we've only got the one book. We have more books, we can have more people reading it and we can sell them sell copies of them would be my guess and actually quite expensive to make as well okay i'm oh, sorry quite expensive to sell so we've got the housing we've got the peasants house so a living space for two peasants so it's actually a very small thing having personal housing provides them with a very strong positive thought significantly increasing their chances of becoming loyalists if there is a shortage of housing homeless peasants will have to sleep on the ground or on the floor in a temple which greatly worsens their mood so it costs us five iron per house and we've only got 10 iron altogether we've got loads of wood but iron is a problem where the F can we get iron from? Did you, up here... I can't remember where the, where the thing was. Basic resource, man. Uh -huh. I'm trying to... I can't remember how I saw it. I don't know if I had to click on it in here, perhaps. Perhaps. Pause for a second. City sells wood, which is the up arrow, and the down one is the one they buy. So they, we need to get a trade agreement with them so we can get some iron. They're the what? They're the they're the ones there. But we're entering into an alliance with them. Richard has just left the province, so she's on her way. Uh, daily statistics. Okay, so Holy Sophia has forsaken me. Unhappy prisoners is too frequent negative thoughts, severe hunger and starvation. Um, an average mood. Okay, well, we're okay there. <clears throat> We've got the alliance proposal, which we are currently working on sorting at the moment. Right, okay. <laughs> what else do we now need? What else do we need to work towards? I feel like from a book perspective, we now need to get Bob working on probably on this so bob will now start studying that i think it to me at least it seems like studying all these books and gaining all this knowledge is kind of key we really we really do need to get the mill up and running so that we can start making like bread and stuff pig farm would be kind of cool If Lana's not doing anything, we might as well get her doing something. I think she was quite good at learning, wasn't she? Right, what do we get her to do? Do we do mine? Do we do pig farm? I kind of like the idea of pig farm. Or oh, the training ground. We can train up our warriors. Hotfield. Let's, no, let's make beer, because I'm pretty sure. Wasn't there one of the... Somewhere bought beer. Yeah, they buy beer, so we could trade, we could buy the iron from them. Do they, actually, do they want beer as well? Yeah, they do, so we could sell beer to both of them. Yeah, we need to get some beer, we need to get beer on the go. Right. Learn. Oh, your skill is so shit! Um. Okay, let's leave, let's leave that alone, That's gonna, that is literally going to take her forever to do that. And one of the other things it mentioned a while ago was the, the fact that the patrols protect you from flesh wolves. Do we have any around? What is that? 27 moonshine. Order completed. So is that is that all of our moonshine now completed? I think it is. 
So do until X. Look at all the things we can make here as well, look. We make quite a lot there. So they're making 27 a day, but they get a bonus of 11. That moonshine, I'm assuming, will go and be delivered to the tavern. Though it doesn't look like there's anything in here at all at the moment. Building storage is only one. You've got some beer and flour in there. So where the hell does everything else get stored then? What are you... 16 woods. You're taking wood into there. What are you taking in there? Some flour and rubataga into that. Into there. They actually form... Do they form a queue, effectively, here? Yeah, it looks like they do. Oh, Bob and Bobette are at it again. Jesus Christ! Absolute animals. All right, so they, they deliver it there, but then it's immediately distributed around. That's fine. And there's your moonshine in there as well, and some beer. Okay. Right, it's not the end of the world. We are minus 80 per day, which is not ideal. We could use some more holy holy rings. When the caravan comes along, we may look to get some more some more rings. Well, it does I don't think she is moderately moderately fatigued. We'll stop shagging all the time then. Agnostic feelings, moderate fatigue. Make sure the character has access to alcohol. Well, everyone's got access to alcohol. Do, is the other thing, do I need, should I build some roads as well? Increases the character movement speed. Costs quite a lot. Could just put a bit around. Just keep an eye on the, keep an eye on the money for the time being. We delete, remove, there we go. I mean, annoyingly, I literally can't even see. I put that, that's so close there that I can't even see it. So we're just gonna have to imagine that that's all okay. And then we need a road. Along there. And we'll have that connect along there as well. There we go. Right, we've just spent a fair amount of money, but that should increase everybody's walking speed fairly significantly. Allowing them to get to places where they want to go much, much quicker. Well, it would help if they actually use the roads. Okay, right, they're all having a lovely old time. Why are you spreading rumours? We need a scaffold. She's spreading rumours about Bobette. Oh, Bobette's going to come in and catch her red-handed. Oh, she saw her coming and stopped talking. Right, do we need to tell her to have a uh, spend spend some time with Lana? Spend some time with Lana. Build your relationship up. We can't have discourse. We can't have rumours being spread. We should also keep an eye on here. Our food and rest and piety is very, very low. We need... I bet shared an anecdote with Lana. Okay, good. Okay, she's... I mean, she's really loyal. She's a hundred loyalty. 
I love how she's drinking beer when she's pregnant. I understand they probably didn't know any better back then, but um, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. And she's chugging a beer, having a conversation while she's heavily pregnant. But yeah, Are you can you eat now, please? Right, you're now eating. Okay, good. To earn a good laugh. Request for assistance. Right. Okay. Reliance. Alliance proposal. We didn't see this. There we go. So we've entered into the alliance, into the alliance of free cities. I'm glad we're able to establish an alliance. Uh, we are in indubitably in need. Un, indubitably? I think that's the word. In need of each other's support. Long gone are the times when neighbors lived in peace and harmony. Signed by me and no one else. Request for assistance. Oh dear. The enmity between the kings has reached the stage of war, and now Bogoslav from Starstream is planning to plunder Moon Lake. The aggressor's army is level 8 to 11 archers in light armor, of two, there'll be two of them, one swordsman in heavy armor with a shield, and one, uh, sorry, four of those, and one level 8 to 11 mace user in light armor with a shield. Therefore, King of Moon Lake Volume is seeking help from all neighbors who are willing to stand by their side. I mean, what army do you have? Oh dear. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Just got, you've got poor old Hepperton. Is that it? You have no army at all. There's no... Oh, he literally has nothing. It's, it's just literally the king. He is defending the lands on his own. And who is the aggressor? Bogoslav from Starstream. So he's coming in over there. Oh, he's a Vaan dude as well. So it's a... Uh, this isn't good. Oh, dear. I mean, he has a good relationship where well, he has he has a pretty neutral relationship with me but we've signed into an alliance with them have we not are we not uh do we not have an alliance with these guys can i oh no he does he has lord swordsman heavy armor that she's got three three uh people according to that same culture i thought we had i think was it a trade deal with these guys then what is it that we have? How do we see how do we see what our relationship is with them? Communication with Envoy, yeah, we sent an envoy in. I don't Did we send an envoy in? Alliance of the Free Cities. Okay, that's our statistics and stuff. Dynasty. Uh knowledge trade world. I need to know or find a way of finding out. I mean, they're in the Alliance of... Are these are the Alliance of Free Cities? That's sort of what that suggests. I'm kind of confused how this works because I want to play this... Oh, no, it was the peace treaty was with these guys, with Windpeak. So, actually, I have no relationship other than the fact that... Um, Let's pause for a second. Other than the fact that I have sent an envoy there just to improve relationships, I have no actual peace treaty with them. I have no alliance with them. They're asking for help. But if I'm reading this right, I'm actually more inclined alliance head. I'm kind of more... I'm more inclined to help Starstream than I am Moonlake, if I'm reading that right. Combat strength of eight. We have combat strength of nine. List of knowledge, right field and mill, cooking meat, okay. I yeah, I just I think I'm more inclined to help them. We've done the keeping prisoners, okay. Get rid of that. Did Bob or no, I was gonna say Bob hasn't already done that already. Um I hate to say it. But I'm leaning towards ignoring this request. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. But I've only just entered the actual alliance of free cities. And if I'm reading that right, they are part of that alliance. Is there anybody else that's part of it? I mean, the symbol would suggest that they are.
We're an ally of Stardale. It says alliance. It just be. It's a shame that I can't see more information about the details of that alliance, unless I'm just being stupid and it is somewhere and I just can't work it out. Mm, no, I don't think. I don't think I can. Sorry, Moon Lake. I think you're on your own. Even though you are bordering us, you are on your own, I think. I do find it odd how... Um, I don't know, again, maybe something they can look to bring in, but surely the fact that Bob and Bobette are king and queen, surely they should have their own house that they both stay in together. Is that something we get on knowledge? Is that something economic... Oh, the archery tower is there. There it is. So we just have to unlock it. Weapon forge. Is there an upgrade? No, there's no upgrades to any of that. That's all cultural and textbooks. So I don't think there's any um any upgrades to living quarters. Okay. It's weird because I'm coming towards the end of this episode now and I don't feel like I've I've achieved a huge amount. We're, we're, we're doing knowledge, but the game the game's pacing is a little bit on the slow side here. We've done our patrols. We've got some things researched. We did uh, unlock something just now, didn't we? We've now got... Oh, we've got the prison ward. There we go. We do need that, though. Uh, where are we going to pop the prison ward? Maybe we'll put it down... I'm going to put it down here towards the barracks. And we'll build ourselves a road. Like so. We have a couple of statues, couldn't we? They don't actually act as anything, though, which is kind of annoying. Um, Yeah, so we'll get that done. We then are going to need to have night patrols... And day patrol down this way as well, near the prison. So I guess we have done it. We have done a reasonable amount actually. We've got some production going on. We have got um, Bobette now, who can potentially go and learn something else. Do we get them to learn hot field a bit? Yeah, we definitely need to get the beer, don't we? get Bobette doing that and then away we go but anyway that is going to do us for the second episode of Bob's Dynasty here with Norland um, next time out obviously we're just at the moment we're just trying to grow we're just trying to create these relationships with neighboring places we need to get trade done I think trade is the big thing we need to get up and running so that we can start bringing some money in and stop hemorrhaging it and then hopefully when the next caravan comes in we can start getting some more holy rings as well just to cheer Bob, at, Bob up sorry because he looks like he's a bit uh, a bit unhappy um, what is your problem? Not sure what that little symbol means. What's that? The character is unable to... Oh, God, is she about to give birth? Oh, Bobette. <laughs> okay, so Bobette has just walked in, stolen Bob the Second's place to live, even though there is a free Lord's house over there, and Bob the Second is on the floor and Bobette is, is sleeping. I mean, she needs a bed. She's, you know, she's expecting. How much longer have we got? 21 hours. So actually, having Bobette studying that is probably not a good idea because she, she is unlikely to be able to do it when she's looking after a newborn. This must be... This dividing with bones things must be some kind of, like, ritual thing they do. Uh, Lana, the contract will end in nine days for you. So we've still got seven days of Maritri yet, which is good. Bobette wants to spread rumours. 
about Lana. I, I can only assume it's because of the difference in culture they don't like each other. But anyway, we are going to stop there. Otherwise, I'm going to get deep into this again. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for watching this uh, second episode of Norland. Next one, we definitely have to get that trade off and running, as I said. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We will be back with more with this. I'm really enjoying this game. It's so full of intrigue and so full of um, narrative and just watching everything kind of create and come to life is just really, really cool. I'm really enjoying this. So thank you very much, everyone. And we'll see you all in episode number three.